Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a Gorilla Market bag. First, I started by lining up all of the seams and tucking in all the pleats and making a nice rectangle. That way it's easy to pleat. And I'm just going to simply accordion fold it or pleat fold it and then secure it by using rubber bands. When it comes to the straps, there really isn't much you can do with them, so I decided to just scrunch them up and rubber band them in with the rest of it. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And for this bag, I'm doing the dye over ice method. So if you're in the Facebook group and you see the abbreviation D-O-I, that's what it stands for, dye over ice. And I'm using the color palette that I love it's my go-to color palette. I haven't dyed one of these bags before, so I figured if I use colors that I know that I like together, hopefully it will turn out well. I gave the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and then I added another thin layer of ice just to help get the dye moving. I came back and checked it after the ice had melted, and it has really good saturation on the back, but it still has quite a bit of undissolved dye on the top side. So I decided that I would just add a thin layer of ice and some more soda ash, just, you know, to try to help get all that dye through the pleats, just in case. This is really thick canvas. And I gave it another sprinkle of soda ash, just for good measure. And then I let this project batch for the full 48 hours. It's recommended that you at least batch your projects at 70 degrees for 24 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out. And you wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric, and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do however many hot water cycles it takes using Kirillon. And for me, it's usually about two hot water cycles because I'm washing many things together at a time. I wanna make sure to get all that dye out. And then I do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener and I get Kirillon and Millsoft from Dharma Trading Company. And there are links down below in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie dye. So go ahead and check that out. And then for this one, I let it air dry and then I ironed it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is, guys. What do you think? So for me, I'm not super in love with it. I think it's way better than just a plain 
regular colored canvas bag to get groceries. Here in Oregon and Washington, plastic bags are no longer available, and I don't know if that's nationwide or what, but we also have to buy our paper bags. So I have like the little store bags, you know, with a cute little animal print or whatever, but I keep misplacing those. So maybe, you know, with something like this, I'll hang on to it. Um, you know, uh, usually I love this color combination. I'm not really feeling it. I think the jade green is throwing me off on this one. And I'm surprised at how much the blue violet really broke down into that magenta color. And maybe it's because I added the second layer of ice and it really broke it down. You know, overall, I like the bag. Like I said, it's better than a plain old canvas one. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!